carbon dioxide emissions are raising the temperature and acidity of our oceans. Coral reefs, home to one quarter of all known marine organisms, are particularly vulnerable. But this is not a story of despair. It is a story of adaptation. I'm Rob Dunbar, and I've spent 40 years studying coastal marine ecosystems around the world. Let's travel together to the Western Pacific island nation of Palau. Can you find Palau on the map? Numbering around 20,000, Palauans have little control over global carbon dioxide emissions. However, they are doing what they can to reduce damage to reefs by changing local policy. Today, we'll take a closer look at the impacts of tourism and land use practices. One of my favorite spots in Palau is Soft Coral Arch. Here, delicate soft corals grow in the shade of a shallow limestone arch. Take in the peace and quiet. Unfortunately, we seldom see soft coral arch like this, free from disturbance. Let me show you how it usually looks. Look above and around you. This beautiful site draws large numbers of tourist boats every day. Observe how many of the tourists are swimming vertically instead of horizontally, kicking and damaging the corals with their fins. On the left side of the room is almost every Palauan senator. On the right are marine scientists, including me. To address some of the negative impacts of tourism, Palauan officials have introduced initiatives that will reduce the number of people at any given reef. But humans affect marine ecosystems, even if they never enter the water. Already weakened by climate change, nearshore reefs are more susceptible to damage when heavy rainfall on land carries sediments to the coastal ocean. As you look around, you'll notice that sediments reduce the clarity of the water, and there are few living corals and fish. Poor land use practices, such as eliminating the mangrove forests that run along the coastline, make the problem worse. Conversely, good farming practices can actually reduce the amount of sediment. This is a traditional Palauan taro farm. Scientists in Palau found that taro farms can reduce the amount of sediments in stormwater runoff by as much as 90%, acting like a sponge. They are working with land managers and farmers to strategically place farms in areas that will catch sediment before it reaches the ocean. In turn, the trapped sediments provide nutrients that help the taro grow. Now, look around. This reef is starting to recover. Trapping sediments in taro and in mangroves has a dramatic effect on the health of coastal reefs. Even when storms stir the sediments on land, the nearshore ocean waters are beautifully clear. These clear waters are ready to support healthy corals and vibrant populations of fish. Palauans are guardians of some of the world's most pristine and extensive coral reefs. Through careful management, they aim to better protect their reefs from damage caused by climate change. But we all have a role to play. Devastating events around the globe, droughts, flooding, wildfires, and sea level rise can all be linked to human-caused climate change. It's time for more countries to lead by example and enact policies that curb human impacts and protect the environment in our changing world. Now, take in the splendor of this wondrous planet we call home.